How did I not know about this? Oh my- <laughs> Oh, this is my jam. This is my jam. This is so cool. to a new video i literally just before recording decided to spill juice down my top so that's why i look like a real scruff sorry about that i usually like to try and look presentable for you guys but obviously today has been a little bit of a glitch in the matrix but we are back today with some road to fame i'm here in little uh phoenix's room and of course phoenix is absolutely <laughs> devastated she's lost her father when she was probably gonna be like a bridesmaid at his wedding like she actually gets on really well with holly she was expecting to have her as a part of her life and now everything's just changed and of course you guys know how much abel meant to phoenix she he was like he raised her on his own she didn't always treat him the best way but sometimes kids don't they don't quite appreciate how much their parents do and now he's gone forever and it was always kind of a little bit of those two versus the world but now it's sort of phoenix all on her own i'm not even quite sure how much she'd care about doing this like whole YouTube business anymore either. She just sort of feels like she's lost everyone. She has a mum that's never really been there for her and now Abel's gone too and Phoenix honestly this is how I feel also about Abel going. It's ridiculously sad and it's too much and look there are so many beautiful reasons to be happy but Abel was one of them and now he's gone. I've also noticed it's given her the new uh, quirk, which is emotion bomb. Phoenix is finding it hard to process her negative emotions in a healthy manner. Feelings of anger or sadness will quickly become overwhelming and always result in an overdramatic and emotional meltdown. So that's something that has come off of her being famous and also being very sad. She is likely to lose control if she gets sad. I'm sort of vibing in particular that like, she's just like, I don't care about doing YouTube anymore. Like I don't want to make videos for people. She's just sort of, you know, in that mood where you're just like, I just can't be bothered with anything anymore. I just don't want to do anything. I just don't want to do any of this stuff anymore. Okay, I'm just sick. I'm just sick of life. And no. poor little Salem has also got the red nose. He's sick as well, you guys. Poor little cutesy baby. He's like, come here, little Salem. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking I quit this YouTube business once and for all. Like, I don't care about it anymore. Oh, Nothing feels God. right blogging and vlogging and doing any of that stuff after yeah, everything that's just really happened. Really I can't really imagine sitting and recording videos to camera anymore. It's just not what interests me anymore. So she's gonna go ahead and delete her YouTube equipment that Fran bought for her. Probably needs to go ahead and give him back that money. And she's feeling kind of like a pretty impulsive right now too. So she's like, Summer, we're going to a bar, okay? Summer's like, oh, oh, she's quitting her job. Yep. Summer's like, uh, okay. I was, I was gonna practice acting today, but if you want to head to a bar, we can do. But can we also go to a hair salon? Because I fancy oh. mixing up my hair again. Phoenix is like, yeah, you know what? I'm sick of this hair as well. Looking in the mirror, all I can see is Abel. Because she's the Phoenix. She is female Abel. Like, it actually just blows my mind how much she is him. So I think she would do the same thing as well. I think she'd want to do something impulsive. This episode is going to be Phoenix lashing out and being impulsive as a way to try and help herself get over what's happened. So some of you guys liked Pink Haired Summer. Some of you guys didn't like Pink Haired Summer so much. Pink hair, I imagine, is pretty hard to maintain. So it was never something I was going to keep her doing for a long time. But I did fancy just trying it on her for a little while. But I've sent her back to this, like, uh, it's a bit lighter than her original blonde hair color. But I guess to maybe to get the pink out she'd have to sort of like um almost like bleach it a little bit more but it still looks really nice there we go a little bit of an update for her hair i actually think she suits maybe this she's usually like a yellow blonde i think she's suiting platinum really well i feel like most blondes try platinum at some point and for little phoenix I did get some new hairs to try on her. Let me try find them. Okay, so this was one of them. Pretty phoenixy hair right there. I know like some people are like, oh, I don't like this kind of hair. But that's like the point. Not everyone's meant to, oops. Not everyone's meant to um like these kind of hairstyles, but everyone has different sort of hairstyles. I think this one looks really cool on her. I don't know if she'd want to cut a fringe back in yet. Like that color especially, I think that's really cool. Oh, I love that on her. Like she's grown a fringe out a little bit. Cause that's the next step. It was here and then it went to here and now maybe it can part ways. I'd like to give her like really gray hair like this. Oh my gosh, should I give her my wig? It's too similar to Summer's though. It does look really cool. Actually that's like this wig. <laughs> I can't give her the same hair as me. <laughs> okay, this was one of the hairs. 
This is cool. It's kind of crazy and almost like vampirish hair. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of want to save that if we do a vampire series. Oh, wow. Look at that. That actually looks so cool. I don't know. I kind of like that. That is like this wig because it's so long. It sort of looks artificial like a wig as well. Maybe she can just wear a wig today. Oh, that is this wig. How weird is that? That is this wig right here. Oh my god. I don't know. She's kind of suiting grey hair. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh my god, these ones physically hurt my eyes. Oh my gosh, she looks like that character from the new Mass Effect, um, Mass Effect Andromeda. Oh my gosh. She actually suits short hair. But that, she's, if she was sort of able when she looked in the mirror before, She's definitely gonna see him now. Should I put Abel's hair on her? Look, it's so Avely. Oh my gosh, no, I can't make her do that. That's like some next level struggling if you do that. <gasps> oh, that's so cool. Oh my gosh, that gradient's amazing. Oh, how crazy is that hair? <laughs> I love it. With lighter eyebrows like that. Okay, she's gonna be wearing a wig today just because she deserves one. I'm so not used to seeing her like look like this and do a makeup like this, but I'm gonna say that Summer's dressed her. Or like Summer's styled her because it feels very Summer styly. Summer's trying to help her out, you know, she's been through a lot, the poor girl. There we go. I knew it needed a last touch. Oh, Summer's look for her like hot weather look is so cute. I was about to change it and then I got to it and I'm like, I like it so much that I don't want to change it. Now you look perfect. Okay, girlies. Go try and get Phoenix in a better mood. Just try and help her out. Also, Phoenix's hair reminds me of like my makeup brushes. <laughs> oh, my thermostat is set to hot. Oh my gosh. Let's turn that back to cooler. Oh my gosh, a butterfly literally just went zoop across my screen. That was the weirdest thing. Okay, so uh, time to finish your acting. Fran's trying to make poor um, Phoenix feel a little bit better. Probably also feeling it a little bit surprised by her appearance. Oh my gosh, wait, she just... She just went in a flirty mood with him, but she's very sad. Sad bum. She definitely just... Is he flattering? Dead, be dead to streak. She's daring him to streak. I think he's doing it just to make her feel better. But I also feel like he was trying to flatter her to put her in a better mood. But there's no, like, there's no romance between the two of them. But, wow, Phoenix is like, I know how you can make me feel happier. I think he's just trying to cheer her up, bless him. But I don't think that's a very good way to be cheered up. Summer, let's go and head into town. I feel like after that display, Fran can come to Salem. You can't, babes, because you're a cat. <laughs> and actually, you know what? Before I even send them into town, I am going to feel like I'm so bored of the same bar. I want something different. Let's put a new blot on there. Let's mix it up a little bit. Okay, let's try and replace this lounge. Because it's rubbish. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Oh, wow. It's so tiny. <laughs> it looks cool, though. It does look cool. There's a few different bars and, like, areas to chill. It's quite a classy establishment. I feel like we could be onto something here. Just have one last quick look. Ooh, this is an Orchid -go, go renovation. Let's try this one. Oh wow, that's got a much better entrance and a much bigger upstairs, but it doesn't look that different downstairs, just a little bit trendier. What do you reckon? Do you reckon this is better? This one has a movie theater. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay. This looks very LA. Oh, it's actually got movie theaters upstairs. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I love that. And it's still got this bar. Oh, this is so much better. So much better. What are they? Are they toilets? Yeah, toilets upstairs. Has it still got like a private area for celebs? I don't think it does. That's fine though. At least it's actually got a place to see movies. That was the weirdest thing about the movie park. I thought you'd get like a cinema with it, but this is so much better. Okay. We're keeping that. Let's try this new orchid -a go go Okay, let's check this out. Oh, look! It's got like, um... I, I bet that maybe there was this in this pack anyway, but I never just seen it. But it looks like it's from all different films, like hippie-ish. Don't know what film it is, but hippie-ish. Elvis, like a Tutankhamun or something. Star Wars or Cowboy. I don't know. It's really cool and I really like it. Oh, so this isn't a bar. This is where you get your snacks before you go upstairs. Okay, now nah, I want a bar. <laughs> I'm sorry. I need a bar, okay? Oh, and of course, Ryder is the bouncer. Okay, Summer's gonna try and get everyone in a good mood. 
just gonna go ahead and order some drinks for the group. Gives a fame as well, which is obviously real good. And in the last episode, she's she's getting in a good mood, but in the last episode, <laughs> Ryder, she met uh, Felix, who we know is a little bit of a bad boy, but he's, he's a singer in a band. She knows the band, they're like a little bit of a more indie sort of band and she knows them. Oh my gosh, Summer's pretty intent on them, them definitely having a good time today. And they've got a good table. You know how when you go to a bar, you want like a good table? I feel like they've got a good table in the bar. <gasps> oh, look who's turned up as well. It's like Summer's competition. Summer, I think you should go over and say hello to her. He's gonna go and try and attempt an introduction to her. Cause like, she might be like, oh, look how she walks too. Cause she's a higher celebrity level. She'll kind of want to get in with her. Cause you kind of want to keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Whereas Phoenix is gonna go and say hi to uh, Felix. Okay, so we're chit chatting away with her. She looks fully celebrity right now. Oh wow, but look at that. She's got her eye on Mom Francisco. Interesting. And Phoenix is gonna attempt a flirtatious joke with uh, Felix. She's kind of just, is it just me or is it really, really bright in this room? Like way too bright for like a clubby bar sort of thing. Let me just get on that for you guys. Here we go, that's better. It was just like way too bright. I even think now it's still too bright, but I can't make it any darker than this apparently. But yeah, she's feeling reckless. She's feeling like she just wants a little bit of company and a little bit of attention. So even though all his songs are kind of about how much of a bad boy he is, she's still going in there, guys. And is this a pregnant lady at a bar? I'm pretty sure that's a pregnant lady at a bar. Oh, and uh, Francisco has come over and he does not seem impressed by Felix. Probably wanting to look out for Felix, uh, for Phoenix. I think he'd look after both the girls. They all kind of look after each other. Some are not getting in very well with the celebrity, by the way. But I don't think uh, I don't think he's very impressed by this Felix. But the wine is a pouring. Phoenix is just feeling. Uh, oh, although she's not clearly not very good at flirting, and she's thinking about Abel. Look at that, thinking about Abel, which I think will just make her be more and more crazy. Describe the robot invasion. Okay. Oh look, a dude has turned up with an actual eye patch on. <laughs> Tony's with CC is actually just hilarious. Okay, she's struggling to get conversation out of this guy, guys. I'm not even gonna lie, but she's gonna invite him to stay the night anyway. Even though he's just gone to go and stare at this celebrity. <laughs> Everyone loves her, but he still said he's gonna come and stay over. Oh, little Phoenix has come over just to make sure things are okay. Do you notice how they both out and out with hearts on as well? I didn't even really plan for that, it just sort of happened. Oh, hello, pink head person. But she's come over just to check things are going okay. Probably staring at Fran like, should we should we intervene or do we just allow this? Also, don't we yourself, girl. Why is there still romance things going on? <gasps> He's just gonna flirt with Summer. But even though she has literally zero relationship with him at all. Okay, so we know this guy is a sleazebag. Summer, let's go and trash talk him. In the toilets, this is what girls always do. We go into the toilets and talk about things. Oh my gosh, it won't let me make them have a conversation in the toilets, which is the most annoying thing I think I've ever encountered in this game. But all the same, just outside the toilets, fine, whatever. Oh wow, not even just outside the toilets. Apparently all the way over here, Felix is also having a kip now. We're gonna give her some advice, some warnings, saying, look, this this guy tries to flirt with me as well. Are you sure, like, I know you kind of wanted to, like, hang with him, but are you sure this is a good idea? He seems a little bit sleazy. And Phoenix has the option to mock music taste. Why is everyone sleeping? So I'm gonna say that she's like, look, you don't even know who this guy is. Like, you don't even listen to this kind of music. Music summer. You don't know what you're talking about. Like, I get it, everybody loves you, but just leave me to deal with my grief in my own way, okay? So someone's like, well, I want you, okay? I want you. Don't say I didn't tell you so. Very strange relationship the two of them have is the vibe I get. Then I was like, why is everybody uh, sleeping? And then I realized it was 7 a.m. in the morning and they've been partying all night long. <laughs> oh, and there's cat sick on the floor at home. That's lovely. <laughs> But I'm leaving these two like just flirting doing whatever it is they're doing in there I don't know what happened to my accent there. Uh, their gigs have messed up again It is the most annoying thing in the whole world So I need to get them both new gigs even though I even went back this time 
I made sure they both went to their auditions, which is super annoying. We've also apparently just learned that Felix is clumsy. I don't quite know how we've learned that, but interesting. Things seem to be going pretty well in here. Although he, she is like enjoying tickling him and he's like, nah. The cat also is like, nah. <laughs> the cat hates this. Ryder, you're a bouncer. You're not getting involved in this. These guys are having their first ever kiss. Oh, what? And also the Fish and Sport Association is looking for a celebrity to help camp <laughs> celebrity part partner to help promote their No Fish Left Behind campaign. She's not interested in making YouTube videos anymore, so fish companies, so but I, th great. I feel like this is Phoenix's first ever woo-woos. Definitely not the best ever first woo-woos that you could have, but oh wow, her wig's off. The wig's off, by the way, that's not her real hair. Also, it's not his either, but I'm not sure what dad would think about you using this way to get over things. Phoenix. It's not the greatest display of behavior we've ever seen, is it? These guys just in here trying to awkwardly pretend it's not happening. <laughs> Looking a little bit concerned about the whole thing. And what? Francisco's reached parent in level one. Me? It's almost like being disappointed in Phoenix for this has given him some parenting advice. And some are clearly thinking it's time for him to- uh, What? Wait, where, where are you guys going now? What? what, 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 what? Woohoo. Where- where are you guys going to woohoo? It just says woohoo, what does that even mean? Where are you guys going to woohoo? Oh, it, there's no love bush. No, no, please don't tell me, please don't tell me. If you do this, it's the most disgusting thing I've ever seen you do. Why is my, this dude's hair black now as well? It was great, <laughs> don't. No, this is vile, vile. Oh, oh God, I'm glad that glitched. I don't even care, I'm glad that glitched because that's disgusting. Now you just both stood in it and that's vile. So this is just disgusting, yeah. Phoenix has acquired the guitar skill. Are you guys even, now you're really here playing the guitar. I can't even like handle you right now. I can't even keep up with you. You're feeling embarrassed from being bad at the guitar, but I feel like she's sort of drawn to music. He's gone. She sort of feels like she's trying to get into music. I don't know whether it's just to impress the guy that's in the band or what, but do you like give someone music lessons? Mentor. Oh my gosh, you actually can. He's trying to give her a little bit of advice, trying to mentor her a bit to get better. She's pretty bad right now, but she does have an ear for music. I'm kind of feeling just cause I've never tried this before. I wanna like friends like, look, you sold the YouTube thing. Why don't instead you try and get into making music? Cause I'm pretty sure that's a thing you can do in The Sims too. Music mixing maxi station. Yeah, let's give this a go. Ooh, I like this idea. Much better than trying to woohoo in a dirty pile of leaves, at least. Okay, so this is cool. I can get her to try and produce a track. Ah, oh, that's so cool. <gasps> okay, this is awesome. Okay, I'm glad we decided to do that. She's feeling inspired now. Oh, look, she wants to give him a little hug. As if to say, like, thank you for the idea. This is such a healthier thing huh? to focus your time <laughs> on. Good man yourself. Okay, let's get in here and try and produce. I don't know. Let's do Opala. I don't know what any of these things mean. I don't know if, like, because Fran has a few songs in his ventry that he's tried to write. Like, she can use that to try and, like, remix. I don't know. He's not finished either of them yet, though, so he probably needs to keep writing them first. And Summer... Oh, <laughs> you... Summer's inventory just said about the spider. You guys were like, have you noticed there's a spider on your wall? Yes, I have now noticed that. Okay, I've now fixed that. And also, so if you guys were saying that, have you seen how slow my game's going, by the way? I've noticed it in like the past month or so. It's just slowed down so much. But you guys were saying that uh, Phoenix loved blue when she was younger. So it makes way more sense to make all of her stuff blue. And I'm so glad you guys reminded me of that because I like totally forgot. But now I can make everything baby blue again. I actually like that look way more as well. So <laughs> I'm very happy about that. Okay, that looks a million times better. Look at that. That looks so cute. I love that. Oh, I can even change the flower. There we go. Okay, that looks great. Thank you for the little reminder there. I'm sort of just vibing as well that the whole living room's kind of but ugly at the moment and probably needs a little bit of a rework. So let's let's get them a bit of a night. They've earned a bit of money now. Let's upgrade this place a little bit. Although I would like to go like and live out on the hills. We're not quite there yet. Okay. I've made 
quite a nice change, I think. I think I've replaced all of the furniture. That bin's really far out. But it looks so much nicer now, don't you think? I have, like, I'm boring. You probably can tell from my designs that I always go for, like, a similar style. I tried to mix it up a little bit with this one. Hopefully you guys like it. I would totally, if this, if someone could click the fingers and do this to my living room right now, I'd be so happy. I need to fill this shelf with stuff, but I thought the little, like, like, feature wall was cool, and I love that table. They'd be so uncomfortable to sit on, but they're Sims, so it's okay. I don't know why this kitchen's so dark. I don't really know what to do about that. Like, this light's just stress me. Okay, that looks a lot cooler. Okay, that's better. I like that more. I do like that a lot more. And I was there for ages wondering why she wasn't doing anything, and then I realized you don't need a chair, so you don't have a chair for this. This is so cool, though. Listen, this is good because she can't sing amazing yet, so she can just auto-tune her voice instead. Okay, I'm enjoying this. This is really cool. Ooh, fella. <laughs> I would buy it, Phoenix. You go, girl. Oh, and I remix it. Oh my gosh. Drum kit. <laughs> How did I not know about this? Can you hear the beat growing up? Oh, this is so cool. I love this. Oh my gosh! Yes! What do I put on next? How do I drop the beat? Oh my- <laughs> Oh, that is so cool! Oh, I'm actually loving that so much. Oh, this is my jam. This is my jam. This is so cool. Oh my gosh, guys. This is so cool. Like, literally. This is amazing. I feel like a DJ. Right, what did I do last time to get that beat to come on? Yes! Here we go. Here we go. Right, we turn everything on next. <laughs> I am actually so hyped for this. This is so cool! How have I never done this before? Oh! Francisco! Oh, Francisco just finished writing a song. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize he was writing one. Um, I don't know whether his song is a happy one or a sad one. Uh, I'm just gonna call it my first song. My first song, there we go. Okay, we've got like the final good verse now. And then we cut everything off and we just leave vocals. That's how we do it, guys. Oh, man, you've got to be so fast, though. Okay, here we go. Totally taking everything off again. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Put plum bob on it. Oh my, that was so cool. Oh my gosh. That was the coolest thing I think I've ever done. <laughs> how, how do I get that? Where is that music now? Release it. Oh my gosh, you've got to release that. That is a club banger right there. Phoenix Music Plumb Put a Plumb on it has been uploaded to the Simify service for everyone to hear. Oh my gosh. I can play my truck. <gasps> play it. Play it. Are you ready, guys? Are you guys ready for this? She's impressed with herself. I've got Fran to come in because he's got musical ear too. Fran, what do you think of this? It starts off slow. Like, give it a sec, Fran. It'll get into it. It will get into it. <gasps> awesome new tunes from listening to a track. It's actually making him sad. Uh -huh. Stop uh -huh. daring yeah. him to streak all the time. What is wrong with you? Uh -huh. They should do it where you can, um, like, get music from someone else because I would love to remix Fran's track. But, like, I can't because I don't have it. But how cool would that be? Like, he could release music and she could remix it. Oh my gosh. As if he just wrote a song though. Like, where is that song? I don't even know where the song just went. He can send the lyrics off so he could- Ah, he could license his song lyrics. 
That's really cool. He's off to go send his lyrics off. Hopefully he can get a little bit of money for them and start to get a bit of a name for himself in music, which is definitely something he wants to do. And a lot of people write other people's songs before they actually get to re like release their own. Phoenix is getting a call. Oh, I forgot her number was leaked. But I think between the two of them, they've definitely helped cheer Phoenix up a little bit and given her a new skill. But she does now have this like new whole romance thing going with somebody that we know is a bad boy. And also that yeah, definitely yeah. flirted with yeah, Summer yeah. while Phoenix was at the oh, toilet. Shit. Oh, wow. Okay, let's not do that to cheer her up. Okay, you're both laughing. It's fine. But I think maybe as well, if uh, Fran like, knows that Phoenix has started getting into music a bit, he's like mentoring on the guitar. She's like releasing her own tracks and stuff now. Then maybe he'll finally like get the courage to sing in front of her. And then she could help encourage him to actually take the singing route rather than the acting route, which is what he actually wants to do. Oh! <gasps> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You were just sleeping. Yo, dog. I heard your jams. I'm like totally a music producer with the Dinky Beats music label. We got sign you, yo. What do you think? Okay. We've signed with Dinky Beats? What? I, I didn't even know there was a music thing. Oh my gosh. I have to keep releasing songs at a regular cadence to get the maximum revenue. Also, be careful if you don't release track in a long time, then the label might drop her. Oh my gosh. Phoenix. You got jams! You got jams, girl! I'm so- like- ah, I didn't even know this- you know when you discover something in The Sims, you didn't even know it was a part of The Sims, and you're just like, wow, this is amazing. That is how I feel right now. That is literally how I feel right now. You can check in with Dinky Beats. Go check in with Dinky Beats. You need a PC in your own room. Maybe once you start getting a bit of money, I'll get you a PC in your own room so you can, like, do- Take a pregnancy test. No. No, 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 no. They woo-wooed. They woo-wooed. What is my risky woo-woo set to? 5%. Wow, so the fact that it happened in my other series with Maggie is super weird. Okay, so Dinky Beats needed me to check in and release a song every three days. She's taken a pregnancy test. Please be no baby. Every, like, she's just got back on track again. Please be no baby. Please, please, please. The cat is just meowing nonstop because she stars in- <gasps> Why are you sad? This is the best news ever. Are you joking me right now? We're glad we did not want to be pregnant right now. Or maybe it's one of those things that she's kind of glad about it, but that's not going to mean that she doesn't also get real sad about it. I want to just try a thing in the kitchen because this looks so cool that I want to do it elsewhere. Okay, it doesn't quite look as cool at the other side, but still, their kitchen looks really cool now. <laughs> and I think maybe she just got this thing that can happen where you, you probably know in the back of your mind you're not pregnant but you you panic and then when you're definitely not you kind of feel sad even though you didn't actually want a baby i feel like that is what has happened with her these guys have their audition today so i'm gonna send them all off for that and there is one last thing i want to do phoenix why has this just been broken all episode by the way oh we can't even afford to replace it because i bought crazy panels for the whole of the house she's back in her normal hair she's still feeling sad also i kind of feel like i don't know when you're grieving for someone you've lost you kind of like you see sadness in places you wouldn't usually see sadness and you get la, 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 upset emotional meltdown you, you just get upset over things that you should get upset over i remember like when i've lost i lost my grandma i was just like in the shower one day and thought of something and then just had like this real breakdown just but it was about my grandma but, like ages after and like that can just happen like stuff like that can just happen like grief stuff anything so i feel like that's what she's going through right now oh and she goes in to go and sit on a uh, fran's bed for a little bit of company bless her and props to watch him work out Let's not even lie to ourselves. Okay, so we have to take Kitty Cat to the vet today, but there's also another place that Phoenix needs to go. Oh my gosh, how weird is this, by the way? Someone's friend messaged her. I read about you new in the news every day, Miss Calorie Aiken, and I try to live my life just like you. That is like super weird because she's also our friend, but she doesn't see herself as our equal interesting but while these two head off for their auditions i'm gonna bring phoenix to the vet and oh my gosh your oh your knees this is like our table your knees are way too close to the top but it works so i don't mind how uncomfortable do they look uh, but phoenix is gonna head elsewhere i'm gonna get her just to update all of her socials she desperately is trying to get a little bit more fame she's so close to three but she's not quite at it in fact we've been going down a little bit so i'm just gonna do a few selfies and whatnot to help boost it back up again okay so those two have headed off to their auditions and now phoenix phoenix let's go traveling babes you in salem because phoenix um formed a close bond with holly during their jungle trip holly I don't think Holly would ever have been a mother figure to Phoenix anyway. I think she would have always been more of a friend because of the age gap. But the one person that's struggling as much as um, Phoenix is right now is Holly. So we're going to head over 
and see Holly. Holly is outside. We've gone with our full purple hair. Interesting. The two of them catching up. I do sort of feel like that our three celebrity sims stood next to like more non-celebrity sims. Oh, what? Are you being sick? Oh, Phoenix is calling us. It's me. Do you want to go on a date? Oh, Felix, you've called at the worst time. She totally does want to go on a date. But this... I, later, okay? Later, we will. Oh, look at this. He's making money from his first song. That's so cute. And we're making really good money from our music thing. But yeah, these two guys just catching up about Avil. She still says, I am so in love with him. No, I was in love with him. She is in love with him still. She's invited us inside. Oh no, she hasn't. Wow, rude. Let's knock on the door. There we go. We've now been invited inside because Phoenix has come here often to... Oh wow, Sam has been bit by a squirrel. Phoenix comes here often. Oh, because... Can you hear that giggling upstairs? There is a little babaroo here upstairs that she comes to visit. Which is a little baby chicken left behind by Abel. But this is the weirdest thing, okay? This is the weirdest thing. You guys wanted an able baby, so I and she, I've fully intended for her to get pregnant during the um the jungle trip. The fact that it didn't happen is super annoying, and it's because the lady has so many cats. So I made her pregnant, and I made the baby be born, and I gave it CC. But I've come. This is the weirdest thing. I've just come back to the house, and do you know how she was like doing the vom thing. She then watch her walk. If you watch her walk, well, you can see just looking at her. What? Uh -huh. And then I go to her MCC. And and MCC pregnancy. She's pregnant with an, a baby by him. But how? How? I don't understand how she can possibly be pregnant with a dead person's baby. How? How is this? I don't understand. So much past audition. I don't understand how this has happened. I thought this would be a cute reveal at the end of the episode. I could show you guys ah, baby yeah. Seth. Oh, Fran passed his as well. But yeah, I thought this would be the cute end of episode uh, reveal. The look at him. How cute is he? Not he is sure called Seth. There is some significance to that name. Uh, you guys can go investigate that yourselves. But Phoenix do does have a relationship with him. It's her half brother. But somehow, I don't understand how, but somehow she's pregnant again. It says currently a male baby, but that can quite easily change during pregnancy. And this is what gave it away. She's doing the pregnancy war. I just don't understand how. I don't understand how she can be pregnant because he he's gone. Like, we can explain the first baby, I can't explain this. But look, look at that face. I gave him, like, long hair as well, just to try and make him look like, shut up, cat. Shut up, this is not about you, shut up. I just wanted him to look as adorable as I possibly could. And I think he's really, really cute. But Holly's got some more explaining to do now. Was she artificially inseminated? Has she? Is she actually a witch and she's brought Abel back from the dead? I don't know quite what is going on here. I am confused.com if you guys have an answer. I don't know if it's an MCC bug where because he still exists as a ghost, he can still impregnate people. I don't know if she is able to summon him from the dead. I don't know what's going on. I'm super confused. But yeah, this end of episode reveal was a bigger shock for me than it was for you. So that's great. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think of baby Seth and let me know what you think of the big reveal and weirdness that The Sims likes to bring me. And I'll see you guys in another probably just as confusing episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.